With the cell phone being the ultimate weapon against Tsukasa, this episode being titled Hotline sure is interesting to me. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Dr. Stone. It feels good to say that. I know it's been a long time since I've watched this. I know I've been just super busy, guys. I cannot wait till I start making enough money to where I can hire an editor. That'd be so, so amazing. I'll be able to pump out a lot more videos for you guys. But last episode, we ended up making some cup ramen so we we're able to survive a sustainable war and long battles of attrition and we also had a plan a kind of a dark plan from gen to voice over or dub lillian's voice mixed with the song playing on the recording with the cell phone in order to fool them and thinking that they're not alone out there hence you know sukasa losing his diehard loyalty and his army and so I don't personally think that's going to work, but I'm super curious to find out where it goes wrong and what happens with Taiju and Yuzuriya because it's been so long since I've seen them. I say we hop right on in this episode. I am just so excited. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching like Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, Black Clover, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are always in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much uh, let's hop right on into this dr stone episode two called hotline let's do it you got the sound explosives going off that is true so the sound of explosives would definitely scare her Oh, no hesitation for my girl. Best girl in the show, Koha. Look at her, okay. That's my wife. Kohaku versus Homura should be interesting, because she seems very formidable as well. And I mean Homura. We know Kohaku is. <laughs> With the katana, too. She can feel it. Her spidey senses are tingling. In the opening, she's a... I think it's showing a flashback of her being a gymnast, which would make so much sense with that agility. Gymnasts are fucking incredible. True, true. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, Kohaku's a different breed. She's built different. They're both equally nasty. Scoop them out. Level 2 science surprise get the flare. That's super cool. Oh, I love Dr. Senku. Mecha Senku, whatever he called him. I love it. Oil seawater. Bittern. Okay, melt that down and zap it with electricity and you get magnesium. Okay, shove it in a light bulb and you're done. That was, a, that was a good good way to distract her though to get her down. Kohaku fell too though. What did she realize how weak he was? Ooh, oh my god, her movement is insane. She's nasty. I gotta give it to her. <laughs> Kohaku's still blinded. Has she been watching them this long that she knows all their names? She's very good at her job. Oh, wow. She's good. She could tell that the sound explosions were a distraction. Oh my god. Chrome the Technician and Magma the Brawn. That's a, that's a logical explanation, but no, they definitely- Oh, she is so smart too, bro. What the hell? Back to the only place he would know that no one else would know. Sukasa. Oh man. I gotta respect Homura. This is very quick thinking. Oh, 
Our final weapon? What is this? Is this a UV light? This looks like a UV light. I'm so curious. So curious. It's getting a little bright in here. Let me close these blinds. Okay. In powdered form. Nice. That's when he was behind her holding her. Yeah, UV light. The light of science. Black light. I have heard it called that before. Purple light ball we made from mixing them with glass. That is so cool. I learned so much in this fucking show. Oh, Haku's ready. That's a good question. Yep. True. Let Sanku do his plan first. You never know what might happen. Yeah, let's stick with plan A until it fails. As more of a signal? Okay, I like it. At least they know now. And they can coordinate, right? Oh, pinch. Pincer attack. Does make sense why it gives you a drastic advantage. Oh, she can see because it's dawn when she's awakening. She can see that it was left on her. So I wonder if she's going to have a false path now. More? Oh, fire. <laughs> Ancient texting. Where are you following down the river? Hold on. I want to see. Oh, uh, we're chasing Homura. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed with the. <laughs> Imagine they were. Look at the little profile pictures. That's so funny. Bro, the details in the show are hilarious. So, are they not getting that last signal? Uh oh. She realizes the severity of that. It That's how serious it is. That one's made out of sticks. I see. So they knew she was watching. Good. Good, good, good. Well, I knew she I knew they knew she was watching, but they did this on purpose. I wasn't expecting that. And oh, this is the actual pincer attack. Kenro's already here. Hell yeah. I didn't know they were doing the pincer already. This is the only way we're gonna be able to restrain her. Force her into this pincer, drop her down. Kohaku do the rest. This was very well executed. Hell yeah, Sanku. For an episode purely... Oh, the cup ramen's coming in mad handy. Hell yeah, it does. Oh, it's probably delicious, too. For an episode on purely capturing Homura, that was, you know, super fun, fantastic one. Gotta say. I don't think it's over yet, though. We still have some time. Jesus, what is this fucking... Mordor? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god. What do the numbers in on his head mean? Oh, is this his army? This is the order in which... And it's written in blood. Yes, this is the order in which they're going to be revived. Oh my god, they're expanding so crazy. So they've at least added 32 people since he left. Oh my god. They're expanding like crazy. That's already more than the entire village, right? Because that would be murder. Kind of got to remind the audience how crazy Magma is. Does he remember that specific person? Or does he think, yeah, once he had a family, is he realizing it was murder? Like it's... 
Yeah, it's true, you know? Statues so far after nothing. I love how the sun and the light's coming in now. My man, Chrome. Oh, Senku's grave. That would be a place that we could have easily marked and they wouldn't want to go. Yeah. That man is brolic. He heard that. Damn, he heard the sound Sukasa's dude. So they finished real quick and hid. Yep. <laughs> that would have been me instantly. Yep, uh, Taiju, Yuzuriha. Oh my god, this man. This is it. Let me hear that voice. He has faith. He's gonna answer it anyway. He has faith, it's Taiju. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Big softy over here. I love him. <laughs> Aww. He also misses this. Yeah, it's been so long since he's seen his boy. Man, this season's about to be a banger. I know I'm late on it, but I could feel it, you know? Overall, super fun episode, getting us right into the climax. I don't want to say climax, because I can tell some shit might happen this season. But right, like, pacing's crazy. We're getting right up in there. For the better part of this episode, we were just capturing Homura but still learning about a bunch of new stuff. We learned how to make a flare, learn about UV lights and how we can see, um, I forget what the actual stone was that glows in the UV light, but we can see that. And he put it in a powdered form because I'm pretty sure he knew Homura would get away from him because gymnastics and the difference in agility that gives her over everyone because they wouldn't have that in this time period, which is fucking just something insane to think about. Man, that's just the, the and then, I love the oh it's just so crazy I don't even know what I'm trying to say so we saw the super hearing guy from Tsukasa's team uh, we finally got the phone buried in deep I wonder what's gonna happen with the hearing guy and then again chrome and magma but Taiju and Yuzuriha definitely did come to the spot and find it which is amazing super glad about that we're moving on to the next phase of this plan which this plan has been built up for so long with this cell phone with everything like that um i, I am still curious why homura is constantly saying yoga like she has a deep affection for him like she said it in the tree she said it when she was about to die it has to go a little deeper so I'm, I'm definitely curious about that i would like to get some backstory maybe i would like to get some backstory on a lot of characters um i liked how gen said it's more ethical and logical well, it's not ethical it's more logical to kill these things right now but then he couldn't because theoretically they're innocent people who have done nothing wrong you know so i completely understand it fun episode excited to find out what happens next ready for the next step of this uh, of this plan if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below super fun time um check out that patreon if you guys want early access and full length all that jazz other than that after squad i'll catch you in this next one thank you so much peace out